Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe from Workbench and I actually have a quick tutorial for you guys this time. Um, I was uh, talking to Seb yesterday and he, he was talking about uh, making a kind of a pie chart kind of thing we had to do. And um, there's this like new bug with the latest version of After Effects that does this like deal with radial wipe. And hey, maybe that's not the way you want to uh, want to work because this thing can be kind of tedious. So because you only can control one direction of how it opens and that doesn't really help you. So um, I have a different version here that has some trim paths and you can actually take it back from two ways at once or if you only need a little piece or whatever or you want to move it you know there you go. So this one's built pretty simply and actually you would think maybe it's filled, but it's actually not it's a stroke So I make a new circle and I always like to uh, open up the ellipse path here and just make that 1080 and then lock it back So that way you can easily just scale it back down. Just set this to 400 for now. It's easy for the Math and stuff we're gonna use here. It's so complex guys Super complex math right here coming up um, all right, so stroke width, what this basically needs to be is 200 because we're going to move the stroke to the center point. You could also just make this exactly equal the same way. That's a way to do it. Um, I want to keep the outer dimension this time, so I'm going to go a little bit more complex and we're going to link this to here and divide by two. Pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff right there. Then I'm going to add a... Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Offset paths. She's going blind or something. And we are going to set this to whatever the stroke width is. So the amount. Link that down to this thing right here. Divide that by two and make it negative. Put a little minus sign in the front. And there we go. Now we're contained within the original shape and we can make it bigger, smaller. And there's no thing. The reason why I did this this way is that if you click off it or whatever later on, you got it selected somewhere. This is off screen or whatever. You could still see it's the, the same size. All right, then it's a simple matter of just adding some trim paths to it. And then the what I normally do is just move this open a little bit so you can kind of see where it starts. And... Um, the offset, I guess the shape always points down on this one. So if you make it negative 180, it'll start from the top. And depending on which side you pull down, that's where it'll go. So you can do that one that way, this one this way. We can keyframe those uh, like this. Send it back to zero and 100. So back to the beginning. Zero, start, 100, end. Yeah, there you go, just like that. Can up and down. Um, you can also do fifty fifty, and then I'll open it up and close it to wherever the endpoint is. So pretty much just play with it. Now you can move both ends independently, and you can also still control the rotation. So. You can make this go however you want it. You can actually keep this rotating or, you know, close that piece. It can also go the other direction, flip it into a different color or whatever. This also allows you to stack them um, if you want to do a bunch of different ones so that you can have other pieces of the pie or whatever under it without uh, having any sort of difficulty in animating it to show the piece that you want and where you want it. So it's much more uh, useful than radial wipe and uh, allows you to have more control. So that's always a good thing. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the actual quick tutorial this time, uh, unlike the last one where we just ran through bugs and whatnot. Um, anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Keep following us on workbench.tv for more great content. Bye.